Hi, Ari. How are you? Uh, I'm good, Dad. So how are you? Thanks for asking. Yeah, very cool. So today we will be talking about Bridge to Kubernetes. What is this tool? Tell us something more about it. Uh, Bridge to Kubernetes is an amazing tool uh, which enhances uh, users' debugging experience for their Kubernetes cluster. This tool allows them to find and fix issue quicker and faster uh, from their development machine while still being connected to their applications and other dependencies in their cluster. Very cool. So is this the tool which gets, a, gets deployed as a daemon set or a pod? Uh, that's a great question, Tabs. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, we, uh, we Bridge to Kubernetes deploys a remote agent uh, in user's cluster, uh, which acts as a tunnel between the development machine and the uh, cluster. Where that makes the communication more seamless. Nice. And I see that how authoring microservices using this tool becomes way more easy because user is able to debug their local development against their deployed development cluster. Do you have any demo? Uh, yes, uh, I have a demo, yeah. Uh, I have an application uh, which, which is having an issue with the counter variable. So this is a simple application, which I, whenever I type in to do, it takes in the to do notes. Uh, but if you, if you scroll down right and click on this, you can see that uh, it is always displaying the counter as zero. So we are going to use uh, Bridge to Kubernetes to see what's going on with this. And uh, Bridge to Kubernetes comes in three flavors. One is uh, Visual Studio Code extension, Visual Studio extension, and a standalone CLI. So uh, today, for today's demo, we are going to see uh, using Visual Studio Code extension. Um, I'm going to open Visual Studio Code on my screen here. Uh, and then go to the extension tabs. And then if you type on bridge, uh, it's going to pull you up the extensions. And you can already see it's, it's already installed in my machine here. Uh, so when you, whenever you install this extension, um, uh, th there are files and binaries which will be downloaded automatically in the background, which enables you to use uh, bridge to Kubernetes. Uh, and also for bridge to Kubernetes to start with, uh, to see into this issue, we are going to use uh, Bridge to Kubernetes configure uh, menu. Uh, so press Control Shift P, and then uh, I can zoom in here if you guys want. So you, uh, you're going to click on Bridge to Kubernetes configure, which is going to take you to through four steps. Uh, step number one is nothing but it's going to connect to your cluster, and then pull all the services which belongs to the namespace. So I'm going to pick Stats API here, and the second step is to input your port number. Uh, which is nothing but the port which is going to run in your local for this application. And uh, the third is like reuse a launch JSON which you already have, or you can ask Bridge to create one. I'm just going to click Run Script, which is going to create one launch JSON for me. And the fourth step is nothing but isolation. So uh, there are scenarios where a cluster will be shared between different developers. Um, and then um, do you want their request as well to come to your machine here, or is, it has to be just only your request? So that's what the isolation means. So uh, yes is for isolated and no is for non-isolated mode. So I'm going to say no, since this cluster is only used by me. Um, and I'm going to a little bit zoom out here. And now Bridge gives you basically an option to debug with this run script dev with Kubernetes. You would click on press play button here, and then which, which is going to start your bridge session. You can see here it's going to bring up the it's going to connect to the cluster, and then it asks you for permission basically to uh, edit your host files. Uh, I'm going to just say yes, uh, and uh, it also prints all the logs what is going on here, and it connects everything to your cluster. So you can see it, it started uh, an application, and it's nothing but a JavaScript application. So I'm going to That's just go back. Cool. Yeah. That's very cool. I can see how you're running your stats API, which is your deployed application, a JavaScript application, into your cluster. And now, after using this tool, you are going to attach and debug this issue. That's awesome. That's right. Yes, right. Like when I click on now, it's going to give me the debug point here. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit here so people can see what's going on. Uh, and then I can see uh, the issue is like nothing but the, the, the lines has been commented out and that's the reason the counter has, has always been zero. So seems like someone has commented it out and I was not aware of it. So I'm going to uncomment this out. 
uh, and then see what's uh, going on. So let me uncomment out, save it, and then I'm going to restart the application. Uh, this is not going to reestablish the connection again because the tunnel is only once, and you can still develop on top of this. So I'm going to go back, refresh, and uh, when I go down here, it's going to bring me the debug point again, and then I'm going to just going to play it, and boom, you can see like the count is six. Right. So basically, I've fixed it right in right against the cluster. Yeah. Wow. So all the heavy lifting is done by Bridge to Kubernetes at the background, and user can simply just focus on their microservices deployed in their development cluster and just debug it through. Very impressive. So how do we find out about the resources available and the contributions folks can make into this tool? Uh, yeah, it's an open source tool. Uh, if you can, uh, anyone can contribute this to, to this repo. And uh, the links to the documentation are already in the readme, and as well as uh, uh, as well as there is a documentation link in the learn.microsoft.com, uh, which will be shared later. Yeah, that's amazing. So I'm sure there are more complex scenarios, and I'm looking forward for the future development around this tool and episodes around the complex scenarios for this amazing Definitely. tool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Harry. Thank you, Dev. Yeah.